welcome back to Fox Recon. So basically there's been a change of plan. I originally wanted to camp over this side of the woods, but apparently somebody's already nicked that spot. Now this is the funny thing. I was over there earlier today and I dug myself out of the culture fire pit and I put wood all in it and I gathered wood. So I was basically ready to set up camp and then light that fire. But obviously I've gone home, I've got uh, my supplies, I've came back and I've just noticed somebody else is there. So I've spoke to them, I've said, look, go ahead, use that to culture fire pit if you want. And also I'll stay on this side of the woods, which is what I've done. But I guess it's not that bad because if you have a look about, you know, like particularly down here, I've got plenty of firewood. You see what I mean, guys? And I'm going to use that as a seat to sit down. I'm going to be... I'm going to be hammocking tonight, but over here, you know, there we go, there's my electric bike. It's uh, all kitted up. I've got myself a few beers inside the pan here, and I've got bacon, sausages, you know, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, there's my backpack. And, by, oh, by the way, this is going to be the first wild camp of 2016 for me. So, yeah, even though, you know, even though somebody else is next to my camp spot, I'm not that asked because, you know, this place is going to be okay. It's going to be ideal for me. Now, I do expect you to see the odd dog walker, but, like, dog walkers appear to get everywhere these days, don't they? Let's be honest. So right guys, now I'm going to set up camp and I'll see you all later on. Right, right guys, so look at this, look at these uh, faces here. There's quite a few of them around here, so it looks like perhaps the scouts or something has been here. And they've been making these little tiny faces on the trees. I mean look at that guy, doesn't he look cool? So basically, there's my electric bike, my bug out bike, and I've just made myself a standard fire. This is going to be my fire pit. I can't be bothered digging another Dakota fire pit, so I'm going to have a standard fire, and this is going to be my seat. So when I sit down tonight and I'm enjoying my beer, that is exactly what I shall see burning. And I've got plenty of firewood located here thanks to the previous guys that is now left this area right guys so this is the smoke pack elite 3 it's uh, basically it's got reflector therm in it now if you don't know what reflector therm is it's basically like a tin foil kind of material inside the sleeping bag that helps to reflect your body heat back into the sleeping bag to help keep you warm. Not only that, but it's uh, made out of Powertex, I believe it's Powertex, which is a strong material that basically if you rip it, it will no longer rip. It's uh, basically like rip proof in the sense of it won't keep on tearing. So anyway, let's have a look at it. Now I've tested this at home and I've been very, very pleased with it. Now, before I move on just let me tell you this because i did find this upsetting the people that make the stock pack elite 3 then they like to come across as being you know that their product was made in britain so they like to like put on their what's called them um, on the labels like a british machinist machining the sleeping bag however when you actually open up the sleeping bag you're disappointed to see that it's made in china now i've got nothing against something that's been made in China but if you're trying to make out that your product's British you know and it's British made then it's perhaps best to have it being British made instead of having it made in China because I, I just felt disappointed when I read that you know they talked about taking pride in you know the British mills and stuff like that the next thing you see on the label it's made in China Anyway, let's get it out of the sleeping bag, out of its snuff, stuff sack, I should say. So, here we go, guys. So, again, I've tested this at home. I've not actually slept in it. Tonight's going to be the first test, was due tonight, outside. 
But again, I've done the tests at home, and this is what I've found. So the first thing is, is that you have the shoulder pads, and basically when you're wrapped up, these shoulder pads, they come over your shoulders and they keep you nice warm and it stops the draft from getting at you. Not only that, but you can extend this uh, system. So basically if you have a look here, we've got one sip here, we unsip it, and you'll notice that we've got another sip inside. And what this allows you to do is it allows you to make a smaller compressed sleeping bag around you, which helps keep your body heat in. Now, I find that size to be very, what's the word, claustrophobic. So you feel like you can't move and you know, you can start to panic if you, if you have claustrophobia. So moving on, another thing I've noticed about this rucksack is that it has another sip at the bottom here. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to sleep with your boots on. Or if you don't want to sleep with your boots on, you can uh, just use this to help you to regulate your body temperature. Now I've got to admit, this is the first sleeping bag I've slept in where my feet actually become hotter than my head. So again, what I've noticed is that if you get too hot, you can use this bottom sip in order to allow your body heat to escape. But yeah guys, there is the Stoke Pack Elite Softy 3, which I'll be sleeping in tonight in my hammock. So I've managed to get my hammock up, and all looks well. The sun's going to be going down soon, so I think I'll just get the campsite ready get the fire ready to be lit, then get my beers out and then just chill for the night. Really cannot wait to get in the Stoke Park Elite 3. Because I've got a funny feeling it's going to be nice tonight. Also, it's apparently supposed to be severe rain come 3 o'clock in the morning. So I think I may try and get the shelter up as well. Right, so I've now put the roof on my hammock and if the weather forecast is like it says it's going to be then I am going to be nice and dry in my hammock when the heavens pour down with rain tonight at about 3 o'clock in the morning. So again, hopefully with my roof now on then I'm going to be nice and dry. So one of the things that I've learned recently about knives is that if you ever threatened, you know, Let's say you're in a situation where you have to use a knife, you've got no option but you have to use a knife, then I've learned something very important and that is with knives you've always got to make sure that the knife is always in front of you. You know never have the knife over here because if you've got the knife here then look at all the space here your body can be attacked but if you've always got the knife in front of you then your threat will have a hard time getting towards you in order to hurt you. But again, the moment you move the knife out of this area is the moment that your attacker can overpower you and basically hurt you. So there's a little tip what I've recently learned about knives.
Давай, давай. Right guys, so I'm chilling by my campfire, I'm enjoying the calling, I'm enjoying the heat now from the fire, it took me a while to get it going, I had to use an accelerator, but now it's going, I can feel the heat nice and warm, so I'm going to chill out, drink some of my calling, and then later on, I'm making myself some uh, bacon and sausage wraps. Bye, people. See you later. So my campfire's definitely going now. Got some good medium sized logs on there. It's just on the spot of shooting as well. My empty tinnies. I put them over in the distance and I've been shooting them with a pellet air pistol. Yeah, got my air pistols are so much fun, aren't they? So yeah, all's good. Now I got my earphones out. I'm listening to a bit of uh, country and western. When I say country and western, I mean modern country and western. Now, don't get me wrong, I like my happy hardcore, my trance, my dance music, and all that to carry on. But something about 2016 is just getting me into modern country and western music. I think what I'm liking about it, hey, up, I've got my first visitor of the night and it's a moth. Yeah, going back to the country and western side of things, I think what's attracted me to modern country and western is the romance about it. You know, the romance of the man and the woman. You know, because it's traditional romance, isn't it? Country and western songs is traditional romantic scenarios. It's none of this modern day, you know, you meet your wife in a nightclub. It's none of that stuff. It's, you know, it's traditional about you fall in love with the girl next door kind of thing, or you fall in love with the prettiest girl in the village kind of thing. And I think that's really, you know, what I've been liking about the country and western music of lately. Again, you know, the, I emphasise modern country and western. But well, yeah guys, it's good you see now that the nightlife's coming out, so I can see the spiders. The spiders are coming out, the moths are coming out, my fire's going. Got quite a lot of vlogs there for a while. So I just think guys, I'll catch you all later. There you go guys, we've got some Cumberland sausages on the go, in addition to some bacon. Really can't wait to talk into this, guys. Good morning 
guys, so basically, all was well last night, the Snug, Snug 3, that sleeping bag, anyway, that sleeping bag, the new one, it's uh, basically, you know, it's good, it's good of course, but you know when you sleep in a hammock, you get the whole confection problem. So, I'm going to have to really work on the confection problem. Apart from that, you know, the Snug Pike Elite 3, it, yeah it was good, but again with the confection, you know what it's like when you sleep in hammocks, you get cold spots here and there. But anyway, yeah, it's been a very interesting night. It started raining and do raining down really hard by five o'clock this morning. Now, if you have a look here, you can clearly see that the ground is totally saturated. Like the problem was as well, like a duvet, my shoes, okay, my shoes here are basically soaking. So what I've done, I've got some plastic bags and I've tied plastic bags around my feet because again my my shoes are completely soaking because I was stupid enough to leave them out in the rain. So what I'm going to do guys is I'm just going to pack all this stuff away then I'm going to do some shooting and then I'm going to make a brew and then I'm going to go home. So guys all I can say is look thank you for tuning back into Fox Recon and I hope to see you all in the next video. Catch you all soon.